There may be talk of an impending oversupply when it comes to apartments, but it hasn't been reflected in most capital city rental prices, according to Domain. In the year to March, Melbourne saw the biggest increase, up by more than 4%. The median weekly rent is $380. Sydney, however, remains the country's most expensive capital, setting you back $520 a week for a unit. Rising rents in Sydney's inner city frustrated Alexander Katik and Katie Koo. See one bedroom places at extremely high price points uh, just because of uh, maybe they are offer a small view or a convenient location. So after two and a half years of renting, they decided to forego that convenient location, looking west to buy their own apartment. It just makes more sense for the long term to actually invest all your money into your own mortgage into so then someone else's mortgage. It wasn't easy. We've, we've made sacrifices. They've got less disposable income and it now takes longer to get to work, but the local parks and cafes make up for it. I guess the benefit is you do get some stability. Nearly 90,000 apartments were approved to be built in Sydney since the beginning of 2013. That's 2,000 more than Melbourne with more to come. Rising rent suggest fears of an oversupply are unwarranted for now. Clearly there's an undersupply. A shortage of houses to rent are pushing tenants into the unit market. We must recognise that there's still a lot of new development yet to come into the market and that may assist in rebalancing that uh, never-ending increase in rents for tenants. But for now, rents are up in every capital city except Perth and Darwin. There are special circumstances there given the end of the resources boom and uh, also the end of the fly-in, fly-out uh, workforce. 31% of Australian households rent. And when it comes to freestanding houses, Hobart saw the biggest rental rise up more than 6% to $350 a week.